landed one of the best campsites I've ever been to. Only thing that would make this campsite better is if it had a little bit higher quality Verizon, but that's okay. I've got good Starlink potential, but oh my gosh, this place has to be packed in the summertime, but there's nobody here right now. And I'm gonna set the gazelle up to give myself a little bit more space in case someone does try to come here because it is a very large campsite. But guys, this is a top notch, top notch campsite. I'm gonna pin this on my Patreon for you. So if you wanna access these GPS coordinates, go check out my Patreon. I'm gonna go get ready. Well, you guys, I made a stupid judgment call when I was taking some video and some photos of the, the creek. I was a little bit overconfident and I slipped and I fell and I fell pretty hard. I fell on my butt. So like, I don't, I didn't like break anything, but like the impact I felt like smushed my spinal cord. <laughs> so my back hurts. <laughs> so we're taking it easy, but I need to go move the solar panels because they're out of the sun. But I just got up and I'm like, oh, I feel it. Oh, I feel it. Yes, I do. Mm. Love me. You don't want nothing to do with it. <sighs> oi, oi. Oh. 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 Well, making some progress. Need to fill that up here in a minute. Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, we're about halfway. I took a shower this morning, so I'm drying that out. Starlink finally figured out where to position itself. So this spot's not actually that great for Starlink. I didn't have it at all yesterday. And today it finally kicked in. There's those guys. It did and I'm not complaining, but look at that, look at that girl.
It's been one of the most beautiful days that I've had in a long time. I think it was like 70 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be almost 80. It just, it feels so good. I just don't want to be cold. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and make some tea though because I'm thirsty and I don't want water. But I need water. So. This it just feels like it'll be nice. I've got a couple different flavors to choose from. I've got wild berry, raspberry, hibiscus, rose, black cherry. Can you tell I like fruity stuff? I've got elderberry. Let's do raspberry. I think raspberry sounds good. I haven't had that one yet. Cheers. Wow, I packed up everything because I'm out of canister fuel. I need to get some more butane and so I was like, I might as well just pack up because I'm going to have to do that tomorrow anyway. So I packed up like everything and I may have over packed. <laughs> Because I'm cold. I'm really cold. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to leave this spot. It's such a nice spot, but it's time to move on because I need to go to the grocery. Whew. I need to go to the grocery. It is 8 o'clock, if that. It's like 7.45. But you guys, I, I took a tumble today and my back hurts. Ugh. I, and I regret packing up my heated blanket because I feel like it could have offered some relief. I need some like, uh, I don't know. But I fell and I landed on my butt. And I scraped my shin a little bit, but I, I fell. And when I hit my butt, like my butt doesn't hurt. But I feel like I went like that with my spinal cord. So it's like super sore. Uh, nothing's broken. Like I'm not going to need to go to the hospital or anything but it's just I'm a little I'm a little in pain anyways I'm a little chilly so I curled up under the blank the sleeping bags and the dogs are well we're cuddled up next to me Agron has gone up but yeah, we're, we're gonna start working our way a little bit more south tomorrow. So I don't know where the grocery store is in comparison to my next stop, but I'm gonna do some recon tomorrow and just kind of put my logistics together and then hopefully find another really awesome campsite. I filled up on all of my water. Hey, what's wrong? My boy's whining. Why are you whining? I think it's because I have the light on and I'm talking and I'm disturbing his peace. <sighs> hey. What? Okay, Mr. Drama. He's whistling. Why are you whistling? I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, curl up and go to bed. Because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> I have no cell phone service. So, we are driving blind. I mean, I can see. Come on now. But I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm following signs today. And if the sign sounds interesting, I'm going for it. And guess what I just saw? Lassen Volcanic National Park. So I think we're gonna go to the national park. It's right there. And I just turned, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all, take my money. Take my naked. Take it. And obviously I have a full tank of gas, even though it took every single penny in my bank account because gas is like $7 a gallon. Yay! So I'm rereading the Bible, and I've read the Bible a few times. I grew up reading the Bible. But reading it now in comparison to the, what's happening in the world today, it is a different perspective. I'm hearing a different word, even though it's the same word that I've heard. And I think that's one reason why it is called the living word. And I am just amazed by the perception that I had of God compared to how he is written in, you know, Exodus, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy, and, and Joshua, and so forth. And it is just 
interesting to me that like what I have thought was wrong is is something that the Lord had commanded so like it is just it's a really interesting experience to read the Bible now with the events that are happening in the world today and uh, I was listening to the Spirit Lead Me song and um, I don't know I was just really into it I don't know if you've ever listened to a worship song and you're just like completely consumed by it and then like all of a sudden you just get this really interesting sensation and I swear to you guys it felt like God was hugging me and it just made me think like how did Moses feel when like he had to he walked out of the tent and his face was glowing and it scared the people he had to put coverings on his face because he was in the presence of God and it caused him to glow like what did that feel like for Moses like did like, I can't even imagine like what I felt today is just a fraction of what Moses would have felt walking with God so I'm just like <sighs> mind blown right now <laughs> anyways I'm hungry so I'm gonna get some food oh boy this might be a complicated scenario we're just gonna start because I'm not dealing with all of that <laughs> We just had a little pit stop off the side of the road to get refuel on potty and water for the dogs. But look at this beautiful view. Look at that. So pretty. All right, we're ready to get back on the road. cabin which is really inexpensive um, considering I'm in North Lake Tahoe um, I'm looking forward I hope this bed's comfortable oh it is oh this is gonna feel really good on my back oh. well, I'm gonna take a shower and relax because I'm exhausted nice view <laughs> that's the best view right there but it is full on fall. Okay, so I'm here for a couple nights. I'm here for two nights. Um, like I said, I I fell and I kind of tweaked my back, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna splurge a little bit. But then I'm gonna head to the national forest, try to find some camping. It's gonna be so cold at night. I need to make sure all my devices are fully charged so that I can use my heated blanket at night. But um, and then I'm gonna head into South Tahoe where I'm gonna meet up with my friend Arthur for a few days and um, I'm looking forward to that. So, anyway. <laughs> 